I now have a collapsible tree view outliner that even lets me drag and drop branches from one place to another. But I really want to be able to use this as a sort of a planner or a thought processor. And to do that, I need to be able to attach notes to the individual nodes or branches of the tree. And that's what I've done in the TV4 project. So to clarify, this is what I want to do. I've got this little outline here as a little example. So I've got this collapsible outline with nodes and subnodes, And I've got a simple uh, text edit field down here. Now that's where my notes are going to be. I want to attach a different note to each of these nodes. So I select the ZZZ node here and I just enter my text ZZZ note. And to attach it, I just press the enter key. Now that note is now attached to that node. How do I know it? Well, I can change the focus so this node down here doesn't have a note attached. Go back to this node and you can see that the note that I attached to that node is still there. And I've already done, entered a few notes with some other nodes. So I've got one labeled YYY here. You can see the note down here it says YYY and there's one up here, XXX and so on. And so I'd go around adding uh, different note objects, that's bits of text uh, that I enter into this field down here, and they stay attached to each node in the tree. Nodes in a tree view can have all kinds of different data attached to them. And the secret is to use the ttree nodes add object method. Now, if you look in the Delphi uh, VCL help system, you'll see that there's a description of how this works. And it says that the data uh, item to be added is shown here as a pointer. Let's have a look at the code example. You can see that it's uh, shown as a pointer to a record. And um, down in the example here, add object. And it adds that uh, record pointer. Well, that's not what I want to do here. In fact, add object can also be used, as its name suggests, to add, well, to add an object. And so when I add an object to my nodes, what I do is I create a simple class called a noteob. Let me go up here. You can see this is my class. It's a noteob and it just contains a string. And when I add a node, I add the, um, let's go back to the code. So this is my uh, add button. And you can see when I add a new node to the tree view, I also add this new note this noteob object. And this note is now assigned to the data property of the selected tree node. And if I want to change the text of the data assigned to the node, I can enter some text. So go back to the design, I just enter some text here, and I click this button, change text. And you'll see then that's been added to the tree view one selected data. And I had to cast it to a noteob a uh, noteob type to stop the compiler complaining. So that's how the new text gets uh, assigned when it's been edited. Now, it'd obviously be more convenient to assign any changes made to the text in the edit one uh, box by, uh, by pressing the enter key rather than clicking a button. Well, I've coded that too. Go back to the design and you can see that I've added this uh, method here, this event handling method to handle key presses. And what that does is um, when the enter key is pressed, the ASCII code 13 is produced. And the code here just checks if that's the character that's been entered. And if so, it calls the uh, change text button click uh, method to actually uh, propagate the changes that have been made to the text. And that does the dirty work of assigning the data back to the property of the tree view. Okay, so incidentally, you might notice that I've disabled in this, uh, in this project, I've disabled the save and save as options um, and the open option. And that's because previously I saved the tree view nodes using the tree views save to file method. Well, the tree view doesn't automatically save data such as my notes. It doesn't know what data I want to save. So that's just not going to work in this case. Now, later in the series, I'll explain a way of saving this data as well as the nodes. But maybe you're thinking this isn't really all that useful. After all, adding one line of text as an object isn't that much more useful than just having a single line of text as the label of the branch in the tree view. 
it would be much more useful if we could have much longer notes, whole paragraphs of text, and then display those notes when we select as a particular node. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next lesson. Get free source code, hints and tips from bitwisebooks.com or sign up for a course at bitwisecourses.com.